A um, couple things to update everybody on. Um, we put uh, Denzel and Chandler on IR, uh, so they will um, they'll be out the remaining uh, couple weeks this season. Um, and had a had a uh, good conversation with the quarterbacks this morning, and uh, so we're we're going to go ahead and and start Jarrett uh, the last couple games of the season here. Um, you know, we're, none of us is happy with where we're at, um, but we think it's a an opportunity to, um, you know, evaluate a younger player who hasn't had much time to play. Um, you know, uh, talking to Derek, uh, who was great. Um, you know, he understands uh, the scenario that we're in and the situation, and um, very supportive of the two young guys. Uh, that those three guys obviously have worked together hand in hand all year, and. Um, you know, he'll do anything he can to help them. So, um, you know, that's what we're going to do. Um, and obviously we're, uh, you know, started into our preparation for what I think probably is um, the best, you know, uh, football team top to bottom that we've played um, in, in San Francisco. So uh, well coached, um, you know, extremely highly ranked in every category, offense, defense, special teams. I'd say probably playing as good as any team that we faced all year at the time that we're playing them, and um, I'm excited for the opportunity and uh, looking forward to uh, the challenge of this week. <clears throat> Josh, um, we talked about the contract situation on mm -hmm. Monday. Um, does that play into this? And then bigger question, uh, what's, what's the message in regards to Derek Carr moving forward with the mm -hmm. Raiders? Yeah, um, you know, like I said, it's more about the opportunity. This, like I said, we're all accountable to to where we're at, and I think this is more about an opportunity to to see uh, a guy that we haven't seen play in a situation like this against a couple good teams, really good teams. Um, you know, Derek's played a lot of football. There's a lot of evaluating that's going to take place here uh, once the season's over uh, in terms of how we make the most progress, what makes the most sense for everybody. Um, and how we move forward. And we knew that was going to be the case. Uh, obviously, we were hoping to be in a different scenario than we are currently. Um, but there's no, this isn't a, uh, this isn't a, uh, there's no finality to today. This is just a, you know, a decision we thought after talking about it and contemplating it that we thought, you know, would be um, an opportunity for us uh, to see, you know, what we have in him and, um, and how we, how we do going forward. We'll see. You know what I mean? So there's a lot to be, I think there's a lot to be sorted through once the season's over. Derek's play, especially over the last month or so, um, hasn't you know, been up to par, I would say. Um, how much did that play into it? Yeah, I, like I said, we're all accountable, you know what I mean? And, and it starts with me, and, um, you know, and so uh, he, he's, he's the first one to stand up there and say that, you know what I mean? He's been accountable all year, and, um, and I know he'll continue to do that. That's the kind of person and teammate he is. And so, um, you know, I don't think anybody feels like we've done enough, you know, and offensively, certainly in a couple of these games, we just, you know, we couldn't put enough points on the board to win. And so um, I don't think anybody's really happy with, you know, what we've done. How, how difficult is this? He's been the starter for nine years for you as a coach to have to tell him that. Yeah, um, you know, those aren't easy conversations, um, but that's the nature of the position. Um, so, uh, again, like I said, I couldn't be more complimentary of him, um, the way he handled it. I mean, this is a A1 class, class human being. Um, and he's obviously meant a lot to this place for a long time. And, uh, and as I said, we'll see how this goes going forward. Um, I'm not going to sit here and predict the future. And there's a lot that could happen. And, um, and we're going to take those things one day at a time. And right now, we're going to get ready for the 49ers. What was the reaction of the team when they found out the news? Um, I think the, the, the same way they've, you know, I mean, uh, we, we've dealt with some different things during the course of the year. Um, uh, look, I mean, we're all human, you know what I mean? So. Um, there's a lot of friendships across the team. Um, I hope I I deal with our team the right way every time. Um, I've been honest and upfront with them about anything, um, any change we make or any decision that, that goes on that affects them. Uh, we've tried to be upfront and tell them the truth all year long, and uh, that didn't stop today. So um, they've, they've been great this morning and obviously eager to continue our preparation for uh, a challenge that this, this, this weekend is going to present. I mean, uh, Chase will be number two? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and let the, like I said put these two guys in a in a, in a in a situation where, you know they have to prepare you know as if they're gonna play and in Chase's case he's gonna be one guy one play away you know so, um, you know we'll 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 see how that affects them and and how they practice and um, give them an opportunity to simulate what what it's like you know to go through a regular season week and 
uh, be ready to play football. Just what you know about Jarrett, um, what, what do you expect out of him in terms of you know preparation and, and taking over kind of command of a team? Yeah, um, you know, look, I mean, he's he he works really hard and he's uh, very bright. Um, understands our offense and system. He pre he's prepared like he's playing every week since he's been in the NFL. Um, he was the backup as a rookie. Um, he, he has experience getting himself ready to go um, in that regard. Um, and I th thought that, you know, giving him a full week of, you know, see seeing how this, you know, affects his preparation, his practice, his performance on Sunday, I think is a good, you know, a good starting point for him. But um, I expect him to be ready to go like he's always been. Um, I know. I know that's his mindset. He works really hard to do that. <clears throat> Gosh, I know um, you said this isn't wasn't an easy decision to make, um, but you can take the field on Sunday still with an opportunity to make the playoffs. Yeah. Um, so, you know, how, what where did that fit into the to the entire yeah. situation? Yeah. We're, it, it is what it is. Like I said, we're not going to have Chandler out there. We're not going to have Denzel out there. So we've dealt with this other uh, in other positions, obviously. Um, you know, and so uh, the intent is to have a great week of preparation and practice and go out there and, and do everything we can to win the game. And that's what we're going to try to do. Um, so um, excited to play at home again in front of our fans. We've had a decent, you know, a year at home so far, and we're going to try to continue that this week. <clears throat> Outside of a few games where Jared stepped in, I mean, he hasn't played really like consistently since 2020 as a starter. What have you learned about him from that time ago that you spent with him in the Patriots yeah. that you think makes him ready now? Yeah, um, you know, he, he like I said, he works really hard. He pr he attacks practice. Um, those are his days, you know, and he's he's prepared against our defense, our first defense all year long, you know, and. Um, he's had to throw – nobody, I promise you, nobody's thrown with more guys around him um, and in his face in practice than he has this year in the NFL because Crosby buzzes the tower on almost every play and, and so do some of those other guys, you know. And so he's had some really, um, really great weeks of preparation against our defense. Uh, not that everything went perfect, which that's, that's a good thing for our team, but, um, you know, he's seen as tough as it can be in terms of looks, speed, rush, coverage – uh, variations and he approaches those periods um, like those are his games and so um, that's all you can do when you're in his position you know because you're always one play away and um, you know Derek's obviously been such a tough guy in terms of being able to play through whatever for his whole career so you know he didn't get an opportunity to do to do that let, yet this year so um, but I, I expect him like I said to, to prepare uh, like he always has and with the intent on going out and playing well. I know some of these decisions will be made by necessity because Chandler and Denzel are out, but is there, is there younger guys, other younger guys that you want to see? Yeah, Harvey Lange is coming up for uh, Denzel, and then we uh, acquired Isaac Rochelle off of Cleveland's practice squad to fill uh, Chandler's spot. So, um, you know, you guys know we've been playing a bunch of young guys all year, honestly, um, linebacker, corner, uh, safety, uh, offensive line. I mean, we've, we've, we've basically been doing that all year long. So, um you know, we're not going to – this is not a situation where we're going to, you know, empty the practice squad and, and do that. That's not what we're doing. Uh, we're going to field the, the best group that we can to go out there and compete and win. <clears throat> you thought um, Zamir uh, came in, maybe you thought – you did, no one could have predicted Josh's year. Yeah. So maybe you thought he'd get more of a look. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about his maturation, how he's been attitude-wise with kind of having now to watch more than maybe even he yeah. thought? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, he's, I mean, he's, first of all, he's a very mature young man, and uh, he, he's been, you know, a, as much of a professional as you can be when you're a young guy like this in your first year. Um, I think he's had a great guy to, to, to watch and emulate uh, in Josh. And, um, you know, I, I've been through this many, many times where a back comes in and doesn't necessarily play early, has an opportunity to see something, in front of him, you know, see a player or two in front of him for a year, understand what goes into being a good player at that position, all the work, all the effort, all the study, all the preparation, all the practice, all the rehab and recovery because those guys take a lot of hits and that's not an easy position to play. And I think, you know, uh, Zamir's had a, you know, a front row seat uh, to watch J.J. do it the right way. So, um, again, I've Shane Vereen and Damian Harris and, so you know, a lot of these guys that I've coached before, uh, didn't play right away, and it's not a bad thing, you know. And obviously, there's there's a player in front of him that's having an extremely good season, and um, hopefully, he's soaking in everything he can. I know he practices well, uh, he prepares hard, and 
Um, and when when his time comes, he'll be ready. Are you confident that that'll that'll happen? Him being ready and, and succeeding, and yeah. what you've been able to. Go I mean, I you know I'm not going to predict the future, but I I like that we like the player. You know what I mean? We like the player a lot, and um, we think he has a bright future. Coach, obviously, uh, Jarrett's getting his first start against the number one defense in the league, whether it be short term or long term. When you look at this op- opportunity for him, like. How much do you think this will be beneficial for his development, just in the league in general? Yeah, I mean, these are, uh, you know, I mean, this is a this is a big test, um, you know. So I think anytime you get to compete and challenge yourself against the the best, I, I mean, I think that's that's a great opportunity for you individually and for our team collectively, um, you know. So this is, you know, like I said, they're as good as a group as we've played. Um, you know, the fronts exceptional. Uh, Bosa, I mean, Arps, I mean, you can go down the line. They're they're all. They're all very talented. Kinlaw, I mean, they all make plays. Um, they're very disruptive. Their linebacking core is as good as there is in the league. Um, their secondary is very opportunistic. They turn the ball over a lot, um, create a lot of negative plays, very good on third down, especially third and long. Um, so, I mean, this is a big challenge. Um, it's a good opportunity um, for us as, our, as a team to, to prepare to get ready to play a team like this who's really on a roll, playing as good right now as probably any team we've played. Good to go. Okay, thank you.